Hello, I'm back already. I <laughs> uh, realized, reviewed that video I made yesterday and realized that I really should make a quick video, this will be shorter, of the u -core and the differences. This is better. Um, and you'll see. Have it hooked up the same way, same input to this motor. Uh, we'll talk about what's going on. Um, and I still have the same things to do. I'm still doing the same things after I make this video. I'm gonna make four coils the same, two on one direction, two on the other, and I wanna wire them and test the crumb ray uh, arrangement. Um, I'm gonna rebuild this and make it better. Um, but, uh, oh, just wanna point out, <laughs> in reading comments out there about this sort of idea, um, one thing I've, I have, haven't mentioned about the conversion from here to here, I'm shooting for 1200 RPM here so that I have the same frequency as I've been testing here, right? Now I just want people to realize that um, when this wheel is going 1200 RPM, the, the core or the iron next to it is going to mean less and less the faster this goes. So the faster the wheel goes, the, the less effect uh, any iron or iron core next to the wheel is going to have on it. So it's actually going to be a bit of an upgrade. I, I, and I've been working at a slow RPM here. And Crom Ray talks about um, uh, the speed dependency and uh, the effects there, it's good read. But what I'm gonna do is, here's the input to this motor, and I just had this going on and was writing down, there we go, this is settling down actually to 387 is what it settles at. So we might give it just another minute. Um, well, it's very, very close. It settles at 387. It's been settling for a minute or two. But I'd like to get this one going so I can keep this video shorter. Um, I'm getting 28.2 volts off the U-Core. Uh, now I can put more of these strands on here. I had it apart testing sizes of the U-Core. But I wanted to make a video of this. So I'm getting 28.2 volts. Uh, we'll see the output. I'm um, going through the motor and I'm going to give it a little nudge and flip the switch and you'll see that it's it's going to build speed just like this one does. Um, there's 0.13 amps going through there. There's some voltage left over uh, but we had more to begin with so there's um, more of that potential is going through the motor as current. And we're going to let it ramp up. Now first, notably we can tell with this arrangement, the wheel speeds up with the U-Core arrangement, unlike the arrangement I showed yesterday. This arrangement is better. Um, I should have stressed that a little more in yesterday's video. But we're speeding up. It's going to get... Um, it's going to be less than what it was yesterday. There's a little bit less current going through. Um, but it's going to be a really good speed. It's going to settle down at about 400 RPM. Uh, ta -da -ta. So, with the U-Core arrangement, I just want to point out that, um, you know, I, I'm getting the good effect. As opposed to the two posts uh, cores that I had in different various videos. Um, I, and I want to say, guys, that um, things I've, I'm come, becoming more concrete on what's going on here. Uh, Crom Ray's patent is a great read. Um, if you want to verify the fact that the, the speed of the wheel is going to have um, an effect on the effect and its, its output. Simply put, what I'm saying is, is that I've been working at a lower RPM and it, it's worked against me and I've done it that way for a reason for my benefit although it's harder 
um, I'm able to make determinations better doing it that way. But this wheel is going to go 1200 RPM. Uh, and it's a fact. The iron is going to have, as this goes faster and faster, the little bit of iron that I put next to it is going to have less and less of an impact on that wheel. And I realize that the motor is going to need more energy to do that. But as it goes faster and faster, these coils are going to make more energy as well. And of course, it's going to take more than one coil set. Unless when I get them wired as crumb where I had them, um, I get even more of an effect. We'll see. Hopefully that would be cool. So we still have 0.13 amps going through there. We have a little bit of voltage left over. It's moving really well. And again, this is going to take a minute to build up to its speed. Almost there already. 390. This wheel has sped up from its starting speed. Touch. And remember, this is a horrible load for this system. If I short these coils out, um, this is going to go up to about 425 RPMs. So if, I, if I'm able to run a better load through this, get even more of an effect. Now just finally and quickly, I'm starting to get a feeling this is running on as my videos tend to sometimes. I just want to point out, I uh, have a free wheel speed here with nothing next to the wheel of 442 RPMs. I've shown that in other videos. Uh, there's a motor load speed, so we're using this little motor as a load, and again, it's not a real good load for the system, but with that as a load on these coils, um, we saw that it sped up from the 387 to 392. Um, and again, I just wrote these down a minute ago. I wrote down 390 here. It's uh, a conservative um, uh, number there. So what we're doing here is the percentage, 88% of the freewheel speed is what we still have, and subtract that from 100, and oh, get the glare out of there, and that gives us 12%. So we've lost 12% of the speed here, and what we've gained is 400 RPM on this little wheel. The goal speed or approximate speed that I'm shooting for is 1200 RPM. So we do the, the math there, turns out to 33%. And this is rough, guys, and I, I understand that there's uh, other factors involved, but um, this is a general look at what's going on um, on the board there. So I want to give one last look here. Um, our input to this motor. This is the output, one point or point one three amps going through this motor. Again, voltage left over. That can be better. This output can be better as well uh, when I make that core thicker. And this is going roughly 400 RPM. And this one's roughly 390. So there you are. Wanted to share that with you, the difference between the cores. I hadn't done that um, clearly uh, in other videos. And I, after watching that one from yesterday, I wanted to um, put that up there. And uh, just finally, I guess, um, there's still drama going on out there from three months ago. I don't even know how. But um, If anyone has any questions about that, uh, hopefully everyone has realized by now that I'm open and friendly and uh, like to share and talk. If you'd like to PM me, I'll, I'll fill you in. I'm not going to give it any more of my time. I've actually had forgotten totally about it. <laughs> but if you'd like to PM me and um, and hear the whole story because things have been left out. Um, obviously, uh, do that, and I'll get to you. Or if you want to Skype me, Skype. I like doing that; it's easier. 
but um, I'm open and I share everything and I just want any, everyone to realize that and if anyone has any questions about anything like that contact me um, I'd be happy to hear from you but there you go this is just a little more of um, a demo of the cores and the output uh, before I start tearing things apart here and making cores and spools and things like that so there you go uh, another video and I'm going to be working on those other things uh, thanks for watching and take it easy I'll talk to you next video